Hello everyone, this is Dis. We're on Food Fantasy and we're talking about Fallen Angels today. So I made a previous video on Fallen Angels and it's a bit outdated now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one, all right? The meta for Fallen Angels has shifted a little bit and it may continue to do so in the future. So I'm gonna help you try to prepare and tell you what works now. The first thing you may notice when going into my Fallen Angels is now, instead of all resolute, I've got Braves and like a Cautious here. And there's a lot of weird stuff going on, right? So, Brave is the new meta, but there is one caveat. You still need to get your attack speed some other way, because attack speed is still pretty much the most important stat as far as I'm concerned. But there are a lot of ways to max out your attack speed, and there is a cap, and I'm going to show you how to get it. It's actually going to be in Food Souls where you see it. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the attack speed cap and how it works and all of those things. And we'll get into the attack and also why I have this and, and more, which I might have shown this last time, but we'll just go over everything again. The most important thing to talk about is how you move past the need for attack speed. So, if we come into P-Man, if we come into Nato, you'll notice he has 13k attack speed. And... What that means is he is running an attack fallen angel for sure. He would probably be into 30,000 attack speed if he had, you know, anything that was decent. But this is not the final outcome. This is not what his attack speed will be in battle. And the reason for that is Cordy, as well as some artifacts. So we're just going to talk about what Cordy does real quick. Essentially, if you come to his energy skill, he increases attack speed by almost 80% at level 38, which is pretty high up there, but at least by 50%, right? So what this means is, if we go back into Nato, his attack speed is gonna get over half of it added onto itself. Let's round it to about 7k, because that would be a little bit more than 50% anyway. That's already at 20k. I believe the max is around 26 or 28k, so we've only got 8 more k, plus uh, he's gonna be getting the he's I'm well I'm gonna be getting more than than that I'll probably be getting maybe eight or nine thousand which will boost me up even higher so let's say Nato is now at 23k attack speed and we're trying to get like 26 or something like that if we come into candy canes artifact boosts attack speed by four thousand nine hundred points on t1 for two random allies. So it could potentially increase his attack speed to maximum just from hers. And she is not the only person who increases attack speed. And of course, my Togi is only level 6. If I leveled it up, it would give me even more points, which would, which would be insane. Literally well over the cap with this. Um, it w yeah, I would, be, I would be completely fine with this buff. And that's probably not the only unit that I have on my team that gives me extra attack speed. Here we go, Martini can increase the attack speed of the highest attack ally uh, by 5%. I don't have that arty, but I mean, I have more than 3 units in my team. So someone like Spork has attack speed built into their kit where they boost it themselves for 53%. So like, what what is the purpose of building attack speed if so many characters can just max it out, you know? like. And then uh, the new let's not even get started on let's not even get started on SP Beer. He boosts his attack speed, uh, and everyone else's for that matter, by another 45%. And I don't even know what his artifact does. So yeah, I, like well now it's at 47 already. Like it's it's probably gonna go up to 60. The point is the amount of bonuses to your attack speed is wild. You can you can basically cap it, which it's like I said, is around 26 to 30k, something like that. If you haven't near there, you, you're you're pretty much good. And after that, you want to build attack. Also, there's word that crit and crit rate might be good, but I'm not taking that risk yet. So I, you can look into that if you want. But for now, I've just been building uh, brave for the attack. As mentioned, I don't need any more. I don't. I don't need any more attack speed. I'm done with it. And if you have Cordy, you probably are too. Or you can at least, you can at least have like a few lines. You know, oh, let me try to find one here. Here, you can you can have like a line of attack speed for your bonus if your units aren't five star because you get a big attack speed bonus when you ascend. One of the main reasons to ascend 
is that bonus, so that you can not have to put attack speed on them. Uh, because it's just it's just better to get it a different way, and a lot of new units will increase it. And you can you can use some of those units to try to increase your damage by putting these attacks paired with that bonus. That pretty much explains the meta shift. So no more would I ever be willing to build attack speed. That would only be something I would do if I did not have Cordy or I was missing a lot of characters. But now that I- if you have them, there's there's literally no reason to go for this right now. It's all brave. In fact, you can actually check and see what people are using. So if you come here to the world boss and check like first place, um, yeah, they're using all braves on probably everyone. Brave, brave. This one is attack speed, but it's probably because there is no good other uh, thing for them to put on. And another brave. It's literally with one line. It's literally all brave every time. Every time it's brave for literally every boss. Everyone using brave, and they're they're all maxed, which is wild. I think maybe maybe Stalin just doesn't need a lot of uh, attack or something like that. If you look on like every boss, people are switching to Braves, and they're obviously reusing their old attack speed ones because you don't want to throw out a 17. Never don't don't take this as oh I've got to delete all of my fallen angels. No, if you have like a level 17 resolute, reuse that thing, please. Don't do not get rid of it. Now that we have established how the meta is shifting for the main stats. Whatever their talent here is what substat you want because it gets the bonus. Like you, you can't you can't pair the wrong one with the wrong skill or you're you're doing it wrong. So if you don't get a brave, save it for fodder and then until you get a brave and then upgrade it. Don't don't like do it backwards or or you'll have some you'll have some problems there. You'll notice that's what I did early on, where I kind of I, I had just whatever I don't know. I, I had like random don't even look down here, I don't know what's going on. Uh, as you see, I've got some about to come back here. Basically, I tend to put in the highest level, because it has less time, the highest level uh, second to best tier for either Suchigumo or for Ukemochi Enhanced. And the reason I put these two is because they actually have the highest rate, and these are some of the best. So this is the lower rate, and it takes longer, and it's just a pain. It, like, why would you go, why would you take longer for a lower rate? Does not make sense. Uh, even though it has this one, I'm, I'm still focusing these for now. So essentially, I'll elect to do these. I want Suchigomo right now for my Martini's artifact. I really need to get this up as fast as I can. What I do is when I have enough, I spend a little bit of evolution stones, try to upgrade the one that I'm focusing on. And I can actually go ahead and try here for a 5% chance. Of course I didn't get it. And once it hits this end part, I'm guaranteed to get it. It gives me 55 at this level out of 1,000, and it will decrease upon each enhancement closer to 20. 10 to 20 is a whole different beast from, from uh, 1 to 10. 1 to 10, they are purple, at least the good ones. You do not want to level up any of these commons. These None of them are actually worth it. You only want to go for the purple ones. But pretty much all of the purple ones have at least one character. Says maybe like this one, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't. Maybe if you're going for Boston or something, you could probably. Uh, maybe Soba is is good too, for that. But not really anyone else. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim. See what I can do. This will be. Oh wow! I got two. That is nice. That rarely ever happens, but I mean it has to happen at some point because it is a seven percent chance, which isn't that bad. Uh, but basically I'm just going to purify five of them, and it's 25 minutes, which is nothing. But I do have the, uh, the yearlies again. I, I'm sorry, I wailed for just the yearlies, it's too valuable. I couldn't, couldn't pass it up this time. But I think it'll be maybe like an hour without it, which is still a great time. There's no way I claim this every 25 minutes. I, I, it's literally impossible. It is impossible to check this game that much, I would not do that. And this water thing? It's kind of dumb. There's no there's no reason to do it unless you're you're trying to specifically get a certain nature. You can you can create these like um, synthetic materials to put <laughs> to put in. Uh, let me just water so I can show you. I don't even have any, but you create these synthetic materials that have that give you a higher chance of getting a brave. But 
or like whatever you want, like a resolute or a brave, but I, I don't care anymore. I've already got them all, and if you just if you just sit here and put a bunch of them in, you'll you'll get all of the natures that you want anyway. So now let's talk about smelting. If all of your fallen angels are level 30 and they're completely maxed out, all of them you're happy with like me, then you're good to go. If not, you're gonna want to level them up by just you know going and let's say let's say you want uh yeah here's a brave let's say you want the brave you're gonna go in here just upgrade with all of your commons or whatever until you get to level 30. In order to do that, you're going to want to come here to some of your less good uh, spirits here and just awaken them all. And they added this nice feature where you can do up to 99. You used to have to do like 10 at a time or some random crap. Now you can do 99, which is awesome. And you just do that and then on your bad ones. Don't do it on the good ones. <laughs> uh, unless you have way too many like I do. But it, do it on the bad ones, then level then level them up to level the ones that you want, of course, to level 30. And then after that, you're not going to want to awaken them anymore. And instead, you're going to want to smelt them all. And basically what you do is you click filling all and you you can just click on all the ones that are level one like this. So all the ones that are level one, th these are all the ones that only give commons. I'm pretty sure level twos give commons and rares. And then level 3s is where it starts getting good, so you don't really want to give any of those up, you know? But these all can go. And I'm gonna get a lot of materials here. So I had I had maybe 10 left or something. I had 10 left. Now I'm rolling in them. How many do I actually have now? Let's see. I went from 10 to 290. Just from like maybe a few... Maybe, maybe like a month of doing my catacombs, kind of. A little bit sometimes I don't really do it that hardcore you don't have to you don't have to sweat super hard in catacombs to get a bunch of stuff that you can use for fallen angels and then mirrors are always a good pickup mirrors are replacement for copies so that you can hit this 18 requirement for for this one specifically just to keep trying to get that level up I, I need them really bad and to get these braves and it maybe someday we're gonna need the the crit rate ones or the crit damage ones. I don't know, and I hope that I'm prepared. I hope that I have my my full team of level twenties before that. I don't I don't know. We'll see. I forgot to mention you can lock your your fallen angels that you really like here. That's a good feature, and I'm pretty sure this is the delete button. Another quick tip you can do is if you have any commons that you don't want, which the reason you'd want them would be to feed them to get level 30. And sometimes you need that for events, so don't get me wrong, but it is nice to have them. But I I just, I like, I have too much, I have to clear them out. So I click this release button, release all, and then white and blue. Those are common and uncommon for me. And then I can clear a bunch of space and, you know, then I, I can go to one of these. I'm never gonna clear out all of these 3000, so I can just awaken some and I can do 99 now, but that's that's for like people who are far into the game. Don't do that if you're a new player. New players focus on leveling up the good ones, level up some braves for yourself. If you want level if you're if you don't have Cordy, you don't plan on getting him for some reason or you just don't have a lot of artifacts, maybe you want some resolutes, but in the beginning anyway, I don't know. And then you want to have your one tank, one or two tank fallen angels for the catacombs. This is what I use this one for. Uh, Oyster really needs a lot of HP and defense, and it's bad out there. It's real bad out there. I, I'm getting owned in catacombs. Even though he's five star and everything, it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still too hard. If you want to know what I'm gonna be focusing on, just to know that like you're on the same page as me. If you're like, you know, if you have Cordy and everything. I'm going to be doing my Braves for... This one is really easy to level up as it's not Tsuchigumo or Ukemochi Enhanced. That's why it's so high, because I just went in here and I just like... Wherever they were... Uh, is it... It's this one, right? Yeah, I just I did like awaken all... That's why I have 300, but like 5,000 of these. I awakened them all and just used those to level this one up. Same with this one. But Nato actually needs this one. A key difference between Resolute and Brave is that Tsuchigumo Enhanced and Ukemochi Enhanced are both the best Fallen Angel for attack speed, regardless. They, they both are tied. They have a higher scaling than any of the other ones, even if it's their pairing. For example, Nato pairs with Spectra, so you'd want to run him for attack, but never attack speed, which this really helps 
you get some extra good fallen angels here since you can go awaken some of these niche ones here. Also, if you want to see who some of my fallen angels are on, we've got Dragon's Beard here. We've got Spork at this one. Nato at this one. Oyster here. This one is first uh, top showdown or sky, whatever. No, it's yeah, top showdown. Martini's really needs to be higher because he does a lot of damage, so I wish his was better, but it's it's not, tragically. Then we've got SP Rice, also for Top Showdown. This is the placeholder. I'll probably be changing that soon. And we've got Candy Cane on a Brave here of her type. Souffle peeking. These are relics of an old time. And then Cordy, which probably should be leveled up and should be locked. What am I doing? And the rest are kind of like, I don't even know, like, what is this on Hamburger? What is going on here? What, what happened? I hope this Fallen Angel video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be down to give extra advice. If you're a newer player and you're not sure exactly what to do or what to invest in, please tell me who you have according to the meta tier list that I made. Tell me who you've got that's really good and I'll tell you which fallen angels you should put on them. If you're a more experienced player, I may not be able to answer the questions as well because I'm not at the top of my game, but I can definitely pick anyone else up to speed a little bit there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.